Well, Christmas brought snow, strong winds, and a rough start to the holiday around New England. Thousands of people are still without power tonight after the storm brought down trees, snapping power lines. Jim Smith found folks on Cape Cod who dealt with some hurricane force winds. On Christmas night, there were still hundreds of people without power here on Cape Cod. But take a look. Utility crews here in Barnstable were busy on the holiday, fixing the damage done by quite a storm. Power crews on Cape Cod work into Christmas night, trying to restore electricity to customers victimized by a Yuletide storm that packed a punch. The wild weather roared through several towns, leaving downed trees, property damage, and power outages in its wake. Around 10 a.m., the sky got dark, and then... It was almost a little tornadic. I said to myself, you know, I should move away from the window. I said, things are flying at the window. And um, then the next thing I know, I see... The lines flailing in the air with uh, fireballs on the end of them. At one point, several thousand customers were without electricity. Power crews spending hours trying to restore service. A Barnstable police sergeant tells us it seemed like trees were coming down everywhere. The 911 calls just blew up. People were calling and saying, like, trees are coming down left and right. They were driving along the road. We had power lines down. But we've had more trees down today than most hurricanes. Tree over there broke, snap off. Everyone has a weather story. John Lopez says a fallen tree did a number on his SUV. Hit the windshield, got my fender, my hood, <laughs> this on my grills. It was like sunny out, and then all of a sudden I just saw a black funnel thing and just went. Did it seem like a funnel? Yeah, it seemed like a quick hurricane. So whether it was a mini hurricane, a mini tornado, or simply a garden variety storm, it was certainly a weather event to remember on a Christmas day here on the Cape. In Centerville, Jim Smith, WBZ News.